What is up, guys? It is Dave with Let's Talk Nerdy Podcast, and today we are checking out the Lies of P demo. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, my dudes, first thing is first, what is Lies of P? Lies of P is a Soulsborne game based on the story of Pinocchio, which I know sounds weird, but we're not talking the Disney version. We're talking about the original, much darker version of Pinocchio written by Carlo Coletti, and I thought it was a nice touch that they put that in the title screen right here. The game starts off with that classic coming of age tale of a blue butterfly floating into your chest that wakes you up, you know, that old chestnut. Suddenly Pinocchio rises and the game begins. First off, let's talk about the atmosphere. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, obviously known for their dark, gloomy kind of feel, but this game had something different. It was almost like a eerie vibe. Like I was waiting for something to jump out and, you know, jump scare me. Anyway, we didn't end up getting that. But as you expect, our first stop in any Souls clone is to pick our class. Now, unlike the Souls games, this one only had three classes to choose from. You can see a balanced attack, a dex attack, or a strong attack. The difference is here, much like Souls, does not really matter as much as you'll find that you can upgrade your character as you see fit later on in the game. But if you're looking to start heavily weighted one way, make sure to make the right choice. Now, typically I am a strength player, but you can see right here that I went with a balanced build because honestly, on my first playthrough, I did play as a strength player and found that even though strength was key to that build, I desired a little bit more speed on my character. As we walk out and take our first look at the city of Krat, you can see this gloomy, eerie vibe does continue and seems to go throughout the entirety of the demo, which I absolutely loved. Now, what I'm sure most of you are here for is to know, is this a true Souls clone? And in my honest opinion, short answer is yes. Do we have a healing flask? Check. Do we have backstabs? Check. Is there a checkpoint system similar to bonfires? Check. In this game, they're called stargazers. And most importantly, do we have devil dogs? You bet your ass we do. Moving on to the leveling system, this does have the exact same leveling system you would come to expect from a Souls clone. In this game, our souls, quote unquote, are known as Ergo. You can see that you can obtain Ergo found throughout the city and of course gain some when defeating enemies. Now something very tricky here is that much like the Dark Souls series, you do have a quote unquote firekeeper who is going to help you level up, but it's seen that in this demo, in order to level up in the beginning, you needed to use the very first stargazer, which I did not know until very late into my playthrough. Talking about the combat system, of course, like most Souls clones, you are equipped with a dodge, a parry, a strong attack, a weak attack, and a few others. Now these attacks for the most part will stay the same with minor variations based on weapon type. But yes, in short, I do feel this does have all the qualifications of a proper Souls clone, and I was really enjoying the first play. As you can see, we were grinding through the first bit of the game here, having a lot of fun, and then it happened. Our first boss encounter. Now I will be honest, this guy gave me a little bit of a problem and not making excuses here. We did just have to learn the moveset a little bit. We did learn a few things from this fight, however. Number one is the importance of the left arm. Much like in Sekiro, this left arm does have special abilities and finding ways of working them into your strategy seems key for this game. Number two is the dodge mechanic. Here's where I do feel like this game could use a little bit of work. The dodge mechanic itself worked seemingly well, however, it was a little bit less responsive than I had hoped for. But again, like most Souls clones, once you get used to the timing, it ends up working just fine. Last but not least is the importance of the parry. My typical run and gun method of Souls playing didn't seem to work here. This was much more like a Sekiro where parrying is key, especially when these bosses get this weird red glow to them. You literally cannot dodge this attack, you have to parry it. So yeah, we learned a few things and after a few attempts, this guy was dust. So after this first boss, we got our first introduction into the lie mechanic, hence why the game is called Lies of P. Apparently there will be spots in the game in which you must lie to progress. 
You see here, if we were to tell this fine gentleman that we were indeed a puppet, we would not be able to gain entrance into the hotel. However, a simple flick of the stick to the right to let him know that we are human, wink, wink, grants us access very easily. Inside is our lavish home base, a hotel that would put Hogwarts to shame, and our trusty firekeeper. And of course, our blacksmith, no, that is not Andre. I'll tear you to shreds, you bloody hollow. And a lady who gave us our first outfit. So yeah, this is checking all of the soul's boxes. After slashing our way through, we've come to our second boss, which was this guy in a horse head. And to be perfectly honest, we didn't really have a hard time with this guy. It's mostly just a lot of parrying and circling around for the backstab. It took a little while to figure this out, but once we did, he was toasted pretty easy. And then it happened. After this guy was done, Geppetto, Papa, made his grand entrance. He told us there was a very important, super special mission that he needed us to do, but that he wasn't going to help, and he would meet us back at the safe house when we were done. Self-taught, no lessons. Thank you very much, Pop. Thanks, Dad. Continuing on, we hit our third and final boss of the demo, which honestly, I thought was pretty amazing that they included this much content into the demo. But unfortunately, that is where we hit our first roadblock. This guy, for whatever reason, was giving me such a hard time. And after dying over and over and over again, I broke the number one soul's rule and I summoned a random NPC that had no involvement in the storyline to help me beat this boss. Boo this man! Now I know what you're thinking, Dave, how could you possibly do that? But for the sanctity of getting this review done in a timely fashion, it just needed to be done. Could I have gone back and just grinded enemies until I leveled up high enough to beat the boss? Of course. But was it much easier to just summon a human meat shield to take the hits for me? Also, yes. And of course, thank you in much part to my human meat shield. We did end up beating this boss and headed back to the safe house to meet with Geppetto, thus ending our playthrough of the Lies of P demo. So yeah, that is the Lies of P demo. I will definitely be picking up this game. Again, if there's one thing that I could change, if they could get a little bit more responsive with the dodge mechanic, that would be amazing. All in all, I do think it is a Souls clone that will end up taking one of the top spots on my Souls clone list. It does check all of the boxes of a great Souls clone and has a great story to go along with it. If you want to check out the demo for yourself, it is available now and totally free. Again, I did have a lot of fun playing with this demo, and if you're into Souls-like games, you're definitely going to want to check it out. So yeah, that's the complete run through of the Lies of P demo. I personally thought it was pretty awesome. Is it perfect? No, but will it hold us over until Elden Ring 2? I think it will. Last but not least, if you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel grow and we really do appreciate it. If you want to listen to the Let's Talk Nerdy podcast, we are available wherever you get your favorite podcast, Spotify, Apple, anywhere else you can think of. Remember to follow us, Let's Talk Nerdy Podcast, on all social media platforms, and we will see y'all on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.